Hey, welcome Light Roomers. Good news this morning. It's the release of the latest update of Lightroom to version 2015.8. And there are some great improvements as well as the normal camera lens support and bug fixes. One exciting new feature that I like is the reference view in the develop module. In this video, we're going to look at how it works. My name is Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. Okay, this brand new view provides a dedicated tool view which lets you place a reference or like a, a static photo next to a, an editable photo. Now this view is incredibly useful if you're trying to match one image to another and essentially if you're like preparing multiple images to use together in a layout or a presentation. If you've ever wished for a compare view in the develop module, this is it. Now before we get into how to use it, Let's briefly just look at a couple of reasons why you might want to use it. You might want to match photos together that were shot at the same time, maybe using different cameras. You might try to match a RAW file to it, say it's in-camera JPEG. Possibly you might try and match photos that will be displayed together, perhaps on a wall, maybe in an album. Or you might just want to replicate the look of a different photo. So OK, let's have a look how this works. Here in the film strip I've got two photos. I've got one a colour version and I've got one which is a, a treated version. And I'd like to try and match them up. Now I'm in develop module so now we've got a brand new little icon down here. I'll hover over it. It's called the reference view and it's got a nice keyboard shortcut of shift plus R. I'll just click on it. That brings both images up. So we've got as reference image, this is where we want to get to and this is where we are at the moment. So we can start playing around. So first off I think we'll make it black and white. Mm, yep, yeah, okay. And then I think we're going to do a bit of split toning. So we'll look into the highlights. What you can always do is click drag. So when we've got this little eyedropper if we click drag out of the image, we can sample colours from anywhere. So I'll just sample a bit of a colour up there to get us started. And then we'll go into the shadows and we'll click drag again. And this is getting us... Hmm, we're getting in the ballpark, but we're not there yet. So now we can fine tune it a little bit. So let's play about with the hue in the highlights. That's probably not bad. And the saturation. Oh, probably a bit saturated, so we'll drop that down a bit. And then in the shadows, hmm, let's pump that up a little bit. And then the saturation, hmm, it's probably a bit higher than that. We'll drop that down a little bit. So we can see now we're getting into the same ballpark. We're giving them a similar sort of look. Now I'm getting similar tones now, but it's probably just a little bit bright. So let's just shoot up to the basic panel and we'll try and we'll just drop the highlights a little bit and maybe the exposure and maybe just the shadows a little bit. And you can see we're getting now to a, a similar tonality for both the images. And I think if anything, I'd probably stop there. I think you can see how useful this reference view is going to be. Well, that's it for this tutorial on the new reference view in the develop module. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please share the video with a friend or two. And click on the subscribe button so when I post a new video, you are the first to know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.